five. Lamar. Lamar. State with one loss. We've got Stanford with one loss. That was Scott. We've got Georgia undefeated. We've got Oklahoma State undefeated. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock, Georgia will play Stanford. Georgia will beat Stanford. And when they beat Stanford, they will advance to the championship game. And yes, we'll buy all our friends a hat. Correct. Then LSU will play at Oklahoma State again. And I think Oklahoma State will beat LSU. Therefore, Saturday <laughs> at noon, the Oklahoma State Cowboys will get beaten by the Georgia Bulldogs, and the Georgia Bulldogs will be the national champions for 1990. Did you squeeze that one out, Jason? <laughs> Thank you. No, you just start talking. All right, here in Omaha, having fun. <laughs> Pretty much summed up the uh, one loss category. Ask, ask him if uh, Fleming can beat Stanford. Can Fleming beat Stanford? Yeah, I just hope Rip can come back and beat uh, Oklahoma State. Me too. What about you, Sal? Hi. Hi. He's cute. And also talk about your air flight. Your first plane flight. <laughs> Were you scared at first? A little. <laughs> Did you cry? Yeah. <laughs> what about the second time? I liked it. <laughs> Tell me about Daddy's birthday. Why not? <laughs> One time we went to go eat at Shoney's and then it was Daddy's birthday. And um, it was Daddy's birthday, and Mama told me to come with her to the restroom. <laughs> and but we didn't really go to the bathroom. We asked um, the lady if we could have a strawberry pie for her husband. <laughs> and then we went back to the pet table, and then they came and sang Happy Birthday to Daddy Red. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to have to talk hey, louder. Really <laughs> We're talking over. Let's see what Matt's doing. Bye bye. Go to the bathroom. Yeah. Terry's here. Bad. I got his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it off now. There's Matt in there. I think that pickup smell, does it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what are you doing? <laughs> Open door real quick. No! Jason, turn it off. Jason, can you do Jason? 
Jason, stop and run it back. Hey, Jason. Hey, uh, uh, How's Omaha going? It's pretty good. Uh, it's fun, though. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Where's Mom at? There she is. Hey, Sally. About a thousand Hi. miles away. Now go back to Jason and get his interview. <laughs> How'd you like the plane fight? Flight. <laughs> Yeah, when Uncle Bill got on there and lost about four hundred dollars in about thirty seconds. Did you like that? No. Did it help you out? Yeah. yeah. What'd you eat on the flight? Peanuts. <laughs> How'd on, you like the meal? On the first flight and then coming here. It was alright. It's kinda of tough though, my chicken ones. It's alright. Settle for that ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, hey, Sally. Hi. You like this vacation? Yeah, it's a good house. Yeah. Huh? So everybody yeah. call me a boy before I went. Yeah. 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 But you I like that? Yeah, but I like the second flight a little better. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Scott, you asked. How do you like Omaha? It's pretty nice. You like the vacation? Yeah, true. How'd you like the plane flight? First time I was a little nervous for the first time, the second time. Can I squeeze my arm off? Grab the key back. You want everybody to know in Augusta how much fun we're having? Yeah. <clears throat> Life fun. <laughs> Who are you pulling for in the series? George. Universal. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that shirt, please? It's Jason. <laughs> Grandma, me. The West Side Annual. West. How many fights have you been in since you've been here? <clears throat> you getting any you getting any airtime on ESPN? Nah. A little bit. Talking to Woody. How did you like John? It's pretty nice we had a lot. He's finally talking now. It's pretty nice we had a lot. A lot of good steak there. What about the waitress? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that shorty. That bread, uh, cowboys. <laughs> how, about, how about what Mama asked you about? Oh, yeah. What, what, what do you call it? Rocky Mountain Oysters? No, Rooster fries. Rooster fries were. Oh, What did he say they were? Rocky Mountain Oysters. Then what is that? <laughs> <laughs>
and Granddaddy and Grandma have really helped us a lot. And Uncle Bill and Aunt Michelle have really helped us a lot. And Uncle Gene and Aunt Susan have really helped us a lot. And there's a guy with Delta Airlines out at uh, Bushville that helped us a lot, Harry Elsie. And Nanny helped us a lot, not only here, but also with the Southeastern Conference Tournament. So we've got a lot of people we need to thank for having this uh, vacation. We've got two excellent bankers that are helping us a lot, too. But we're having a great time. We Man. really are. Man. And uh, I think everybody's having a great time. Scott's picking up on his hours for a little bit. He's going to finish his exams the 18th. So if he, can, if he can pick up his exams and Terry can pick up his, well, we qualified with our uh, <laughs> academic work. Just got to get a good dog. Well, we give a little cheer. Go! This is Terry Childers' room and his roommate, Z-Man. It's all decorated up real nice. We're about to take a look inside, fellas. I'm used to this prime time right here, baby. <laughs> All right. Boy, two. 90 calories World Series. <laughs> Get ready at the day of the big game. Z-Man. <laughs> the big one. That's me, baby, right here. Ready to go kick Sanford's ass? Sanford's ass. Yeah, baby. Turn it off. It's on. Yeah, we don't want to take that for the game. They can't break the day. I hear they did the George Sanford, one of the fathers. Uh, Well, it's the magic number, Pat, unless you go with something really big. That's yeah, me again. Oh, and we go over here to Tom Sandwich, is reading the USA Today. Huh? You looked at the South Team all there? No, I haven't even looked at it. We're home today. We're home. Did you hear, uh, Terry, the door that he's staying in at this hotel for the 90 Cal Grill Series. And this is his roommate. Call him the Z Man. He's a dead of rich. Let's head on out. Just. Typical day in Omaha. We're leaving the hotel. We're going to a museum. George plays Stanford tonight at 7. Hey, Sally. Hey. There's Daddy driving. There's a Sheridan in. There's a Sheridan. Better known as Good Times. Turn it on, boys. We'll yeah, Good Times. Missouri River. Talk to that. Talk Over to that way. The approach is intense. Turn it on the way. Hall Museum. Downtown Omaha. Here's the rent a car. Show the tires. Good. Okay, that's good. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hall. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Zoe Glory. Yeah, that's a good shot over there, Scott. Right around over there. Zoe Glory waving in the wind. And we end up at the 7 Eleven. We're going to get some refreshments for the game. Fill the car up on gas. There he goes, Daddy. Playing a little ball, getting fired up. And he's going to pay for the gas. Jason is cleaning the windshields. Hey, Jason. He's cleaning oh, the windshields up. How's it going? Where's Matt? Matt's pumping the gas. Hey, Matt. Ready to go to the ball game? Yes, sir. How are you pulling for? What part of the country are you from? Good dog. What part of the country are from? Here we have a gas man here. We're from Georgia. Georgia, oh yeah, I've been there for. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Good, good fat pigs. There's a fine looking woman. 
Nebraska. Yes. Next stop. Rosenblatt Stadium. Rosenblatt Final destination, Rosenblatt Stadium. On the Omaha Royals. And the College World Series. Here's the picnic area. Fans are starting to arrive at the park. We're a little early, we're going to catch a little BP. Z Man. Word. That's all I want to say is word. That's now you film. Yes. Against Old Miss.
right across the street. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're parked up there, yeah. Yeah, you parked over there, did you? Here we are back at the hotel room. Georgia lost four to two. They're gonna play Friday against Stanford again. Whoops, some butt! If they can pull that out, they were playing the championship game on Saturday. There's Dad coming in now. We're going yeah. in the big inning. <laughs> That's well, the whole Bible starts out. Big innings, man. Big innings. We're going to have a big inning tomorrow. Tell your old man he's at church. Z. Word. <laughs> I love that camera. Oh, let me tell you this. Time. You know what? Right here. Right here. You know, Coach, uh, Coach Amps, Dan, you know his friend? Yeah. The guy that limps around all the time? Tim Conway. Tim Conway. Tim Conway. Oh, oh, yeah, a little golf. Yeah. We went up to uh, Coco's today to eat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you hear him? Strip that through, game? yeah, strip through for one day. Remember we went to the game, he, he walked back in, he goes, uh, how was the game? <laughs> and you start telling about the game, he walked out, he comes back in, uh, get your meal money. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walked back out again. He walked in and out like three times. <laughs> yeah, he kept walking in. Get your meal money, whatever. Not too late. Wait, did y'all go down for the tornado drill? Oh, sure. Yeah. We didn't even hear it. You didn't hear those sirens going off and everything? <laughs> no. Oh, sleepers. I thought we were going. It's on now. Years ago, you remember? It's on. It's a red button. I'll just call it. Go call it. It's running. Come down. All right, Vic, working overtime here. It's certainly the beauty of having so many people. It's a great drive. You said you can spread it around. And in fact, Chuck Dennis says, all right. <laughs> Tell you what, we got we got some hams in here tonight. <laughs> NBA final. All right. Hey Sally. Hey. We had a big party. And I'm tired. Of it. Party. Film daddy. No, 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 no. no, no. That's good. Get Matt, get Matt. Hey, Jason. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Y'all introduce everybody. We're on camera. This is Roger Detter. We were ball players together 20 years ago. He was from Arizona State. 
Uh, we were from Georgia Southern, and the Chicago Cubs brought us together here on South Dakota. Garden spot in the world. Wonderful place. <laughs> Roger and Linda have a son that plays for Stanford, and of course our son is catching for the dogs today. Mm -hmm. We hope that we're here tomorrow instead of the debtors. You get them while he's talking. No, no. <laughs> you know, it's going to be one of us, right? That's right. Stop the bleacher. Come on, Terry! Come on, Joe, Joe, come on, Sid! Come on, Mike! Come on, Mike! I'll just tell you if he goes or not. Okay. I'm on the
Dogs catcher and former West Side standout Terry Childers right there in the center of the pack, and he got to shake hands with the president today. It's a great thrill. Um, it's a once in a lifetime thing, and uh, we're just all really enjoying it right now. And uh, he was talking about some of his old baseball experiences, and then he uh, congratulated us, and he was uh, real nice and cordial. And uh, you know, I just we're so glad we're here. It's just a great thrill. Georgia Bulldogs in Washington. Well, a day of upsets on the men's side of things. That so now he <laughs> changed his color, still a Bulldog. Though. I got gotcha. you. So he's going to get a chance to see him meet with them. But uh, the Braves won tonight, and the young pitcher, Steve Avery, gets his first career win tonight. Okay. The, the president Dodgers. was a left-handed hitting first baseman. First believe, baseman. That's what he was. That's what gotcha. he was. Yep, yep. Let's start with baseball now. In Atlanta Braves, we're looking to get even with the Los Angeles Dodgers after last night's loss. For highlights, we go to the stadium on Capitol Avenue for Dell Murphy, still having his woes at the plate, but still forcing runs home. Hits into a double play here. A run still comes in to score, and the Braves are on the board. Boy, I tell you what, he knocks into a sack fly here. Deep fly ball, but it scores a run. 
take them any way you can get them here when you're going like the Braves have been going lately. They get the runs. Avery gets enough innings in and pitches impressively tonight. He gets the win. His first in the big leagues. You know that guy's on cloud nine right now. 4-2 Braves win over Los Angeles. Elsewhere, Montreal has beaten Chicago by one. In 12, Cincinnati beats San Francisco. Pittsburgh over Philadelphia, 1-0 in the seventh. San Diego leads Houston also in the seventh. The Mets lead St. Louis. And in the American League, Cleveland playing at Baltimore. Remember this guy? Brooke Jacoby. Third baseman the Braves had and shipped up to the end. I guess they really didn't need him at the time. Anyway, he's hitting home runs up in Cleveland right now. And the Tribe's doing just fine. Also, Corey Snyder, he gets a home run, too, for Cleveland as they come from behind and beat the Orioles in Baltimore. Final score. Memorial Stadium up in Baltimore, 5-3 tonight. Cleveland a winner. New York, 8-2 over Milwaukee. Boston blanks Toronto, 3-0. 5-4 Minnesota's beaten Texas, Detroit, Oakland, KC, Seattle, and Chicago, California. Just getting underway out west. Still talking baseball. The NCAA baseball champion Georgia Bulldogs in Washington at the White House. A special guest of President George Bush. Of course, Bush, former college baseball players we mentioned at Yale. He once played in the College World Series himself. They're meeting the Georgia Bulldogs today. The Augusta Pirates had tonight off as part of the South Atlantic League All-Star break tomorrow. Meeting with President Bush at the Rose Garden here, and among those on hand, Bulldogs catcher and former West Side standout Terry Childers. It's a great thrill. Um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and uh, we're just all really enjoying it right now. And uh, he was talking about some of his old baseball experiences, and then he uh, congratulated us, and he was uh, real nice and cordial. And uh, you know, I just we're just so glad we're here. It's just a great thrill. Georgia Bulldogs in Washington. Well, with the 11th choice in tomorrow's NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks are said to be considering the... Rear Albert County leading 4-2. West Augusta's Shane Raven with a shot to center right here. Two RBIs on this one, and the score would be tied at 4-4. Four four. Now, Matt Childers would follow with an RBI single to left field here, and that would give West Augusta a 5-4 lead in the contest in a big five-run uprising here for... West Augusta. Philip War would follow as Matt Childers uh, roots him on here. Philip War follows with a single. That would score Sh Childers, knocks the center fielder down there. And it would be 7 to 4. West Augusta leading this one. But it uh, wouldn't be as uh, the big hit right here on the night begins belongs to Mike Stovall. He had two home runs, six RBIs for Elbert County. The guys from Elbert County. <laughs> Watching Newswatch 6, your news leader at Vantage. Watched by more people than any other local newscast. A 6-3 to three win against Elbert County in the District 6 Finals. West Augusta advances to the Little League State competition. And for the folks by nudists and their lifestyle, why is there such an interest in the subject? Is it because nudism carries such a sexual connotation? One local expert has his theory. We become preoccupied more a lot of times with what we aren't allowed to see rather than what's uh, right, right there in front of us. So the idea that a nudist camp experience produces a sexual preoccupation is generally a false idea. Business and family considerations are just two of the reasons that most nudists wish to remain anonymous. While none of the people we've spoken with today said they've ever been discriminated against because of their lifestyle, many like to play it safe just to be sure. Uh, the biggest concern that, that ourselves and a lot of nudists have is the fact that a lot of people wouldn't necessarily understand the lifestyle. And the fact that they don't understand it, they have to think a lot of things that aren't necessarily true. A lot of times nudism gets a bad, a misunderstanding. People think it's it's all wild and crazy, and it's not. It's good friends and a family atmosphere. Good, clean family recreation is stressed at Hidden Valley and most other nudist resorts. As far as stereotypes go, the owner of the resort invites anyone with misconceptions to visit the club. And, uh, the only way you can dispel that is to explain to them what social nudism really is and to ask them to come out and try it. In Dawsonville, Georgia, Austin Rhodes, Channel 12 Eyewitness News. Interesting, isn't it?
difference. You don't, him, you don't see him playing much baseball because it, it's hard to slide. <laughs> That's right. It would be a little tough. <laughs> well, this is a special night for the Augusta Pirates. Our own Sam Crenshaw is live at Heaton Stadium now to tell us what's going on. Sam? Yes, Rick, I do believe it would be a little bit hard to slide. Hi, folks. I'm live at Heaton Stadium with the Pirates are getting ready to play. Night of baseball for the Pirates. Boy, a huge night of baseball, a beautiful night for baseball outside, and over 5,400 fans, a new record crowd showed up for this one. Pirates, parachutes, and pirate baseball on a happening night at Heaton Stadium, all to benefit the Children's Medical Center at MCG. Skydiving here by the Silver Wings from Fort Benning as they just happen to drop by at the ballpark. And then Mayor Devaney proclaims this Terry Childers Day in honor of the former West Side and current member of the national champion, Georgia Bulldogs. I never thought I'd have a day named after me. Uh, it's just great to uh, have the whole town with people behind you. And, uh, so something really ain't sucked in yet, but uh, I think it will later on. And following those festivities, the largest crowd in Pirates history, 5,409 on hand to see the Pirates do battle with the Charleston Rainbows. Robert Bailey with a single to center here in first. 400 fans watching the Pirates play tonight, and this is when they get a run in the fifth inning. Ball down into the corner. The run comes home to score is their fourth run of the evening. It put the Pirates up by a score of four to one, and that's the final score. They beat the Charleston Rainbows at Heaton Stadium before a packed house tonight. Now, the Atlanta Braves series in Houston continued tonight. Like I told you, the Dale Murphy trade has come through. Let's go to the board. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join Yvette Dabney and Trent Butler this weekend for the latest from the Georgia Carolina area. As we leave you tonight, we say hello to some of our friends with the Augusta Swim League. Have a good evening. there would be changes this season. Still going to try to throw the ball more. The thing that was disappointing about our football team last year, we threw the ball pretty good, not as well as we need to to be successful. But the disappointing thing was we weren't able to run the football the way we need to to win. You go back and you look at the games that we lost. And the one thing that was a disappointment when we had to have a first down, we couldn't make it running the ball. And that's very untypical of a Georgia team. We got a receiver from this area that's going to be one of their prime targets, Mr. Arthur Marshall. Arthur really did some good things for us. Uh, we didn't get the ball to him throwing the ball as much as maybe we needed to last year and or would like to, but Arthur did some other things well for us too. Uh, he was our punt returner and did an outstanding job there. He was our kickoff returner and did a very good job there. And so Arthur got the football a lot of different ways and uh, and did some good things and made some big plays for us and we're counting on him to be an outstanding player for the next couple of years. Georgia fans can still point to their baseball team as a source of great pride. Steve Weber's dogs took the College World Series in Omaha, but it didn't look so good at the end of the regular season for this group. When it was all uh, said and done after we'd lost five in a row, they just decided that uh, this wasn't the way it was supposed to be, and they turned it around and eventually ended up in the national championship. Go on, and basically what we do then is play a two out of three game series with Stanford, and that's really what it, what it boiled down to. And fortunately, we outplayed Stanford and got into the championship game, and it's one game. Anybody can win one game. Fortunately, we won. Team. We'll only have 11 seniors on our football team this year, and uh, we were a young football team last year, and we said last year we'd struggle for a couple of years. And, and I think there's still some situations where we're going to have some difficult times, but also we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Our last two classes, our freshman and sophomore classes to be, uh, have got a chance to be pretty good. Ray Goff and company getting ready for the upcoming season. Also. It still hasn't really hit me yet, but uh, it's a great feeling. Might hit you real soon, though. A lot of people are missing from this baseball team. You're going to be one of the few returning starters in next year's baseball team. Coach Weber's had to do a lot of recruiting. you got to take a leadership role. You ready to take that on? Uh, yeah, I've, I've done it in high school, and uh, I think a lot of the pitchers looked at me as a leader this year. And, uh, you know, we all get, a lot of people are going to be after us next year, and I just hope, you know, that, uh, you know, we can pull out some good games. But uh, as far as uh, the people going to be after us, we just got to play the – brand of baseball that Coach Weber wants us to, and I think we'll do all right. Okay, we're going to be looking for good things for you. Terry Childers, Augusta native, University of Georgia Bulldogs, national champions. Thanks a lot for stopping by with us. Good luck to you again next season. Thank you. All right, good to see you, good to see you. All right, let's catch you up to date on the Dale Murphy trade situation now. You've been hearing about it. Apparently it's on hold.